Hey kindergarten, today you're gonna get one big sheet of white paper and we are going to put our name on the back right away. Mr. Calvert, and you need to put either KA, B, or C depending on which class you're in. I'm going to flip it over and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of chalk that's at my table, probably one of the colored ones, not the white one, and I'm going to draw some vertical, remember that's lines that go up and down and some horizontal lines. So I'm gonna draw those all over the place. Vertical and horizontal. So I've got about half my paper done, do a few over here. All right, so after you have a bunch of vertical lines drawn, horizontal lines drawn, you're ready to start shading or coloring in these sections. Notice that I did not use any diagonals or any other kind of lines in my work. So you are going to use the primary colors today. Notice I have red, I have a dark blue and a light blue, and I have some yellows. And when I go to color in these squares on my paper, I'm gonna use the side of my chalk, not the tip. I use the tip to draw those lines, but when I go to color them, I'm gonna use the side. So you need to carefully color in some of those shapes. Use some, a little bit of all of those colors. Doing some yellow. I'm gonna fill them all in using a nice variety of colors. After you have drawn those vertical and horizontal lines, you've used the side of the chalk to color in all of these squares, so I don't have any white left showing. Now we're gonna overlap these colors and make some secondary. So I might take my red, I might color it on top of my blues, and you're gonna notice I start to get a purplish color. So we know that red and blue make purple. Might do it on top of some yellow spots. I know that I'm gonna get kind of an orangish color. So I'm gonna mix all of these on my paper. So I shouldn't have any squares that aren't mixed. I'll do some blue. I'm gonna do it up here. I'm gonna use the dark blue this time. See, I'm getting a green because we know that blue and yellow make green. Be very careful. Make sure to do a nice job with these. All right, so now I have used a primary color on all of them. Then I put another primary color on them and mix. So I end up with some purples and some oranges and some different kinds of green. When you are this far, you are going to carefully put these at the bottom of the drying rack. Make sure to clean up after yourself when you're all finished. 